Phoenicians by Deanna, Kate, and Brent. Long ago, from 15,000 to 539 BC, lived a free country, the Phoenicians. They lived in present-day Lebanon. The Phoenician Empire centers around two cities called Sidon and Tyre. Sidon was ruled by King Zimmerati, while Tyre was ruled by King Abi Mariki. The Phoenicians were excellent sailors, so trading along the Mediterranean was made easy. Their main exports were purple dye, which they got from snails. Purple was the first official color, called royal purple, and wood from their plentiful cedar forests. They traded between Phoenicia, getting cloth and dye from Bablos, dye and wood from Sidon, and wood and glass from Tyre. Outside of Phoenicia, they went to Memphis to get grain, ivory, gold, and salt. They went to Serene and Leptis and Carthage to get grain, and they went to Chingis to get copper, oil, and silver. When they returned, they sold their goods to a, at a huge bazaars. They kept the seas clear by spreading rumors of terrible monsters. This is how they gained control of the sea from 11,000 to 800 BC. People would get lost, so they kept their rumors going for quite a while. But the Phoenicians knew that the trick, they made use of the stars as navigation tools. They also made an alphabet of 22 symbols to make records of their existence and create laws. These symbols were so important they were borrowed by the Greeks to create their language, Greek. Carthage soon became the center of the Phoenician Empire, where they worshipped their gods with human sacrifices. In 539 BCE, they were conquered by the Persians, and soon after they became part of the Roman Empire. All these events combined to make one of the most successful empires. The Phoenicians by Deanna, Kate, and Brent.